best Les Pauls in the world. from Gibson Custom Shop. Hi, this is Tom from Beautiful Guitars. Today we've got an amazing unboxing of these uh, guitars. You can see here is Gibson. You can see it has been uh, uh, damaged uh, through the transport. <laughs> but let's hope uh, everything is fine inside. Uh, As you can see, it's a nice, beautiful uh, hard shell case. Uh, you see from uh, Gibson. Uh, you can see on the other side. See, it's a custom shop, so it's quite uh, quite important. <coughs> so let's see what this. Uh, this custom shop from Gibson always one more latch to remove looks like all I have been removed is quite great yes uh, voila this is a Gibson 1961 Les Paul 60th anniversary really in a cherry red uh, finish quite remarkable let's look uh, closely uh, at this uh, 1961 Les Paul 60th anniversary with this uh, side uh, vibrola quite incredible let's look closely So maybe let's uh, start with the elephant in the room. As you can see it's on, the, on the truss road cover, it says a last pole. So I'm quite correct that it's a last pole with a crown uh, uh, logo there on top and Gibson uh, uh, logo there, the mother of pearl. You can see uh, Rosewood uh, fingerboard with this uh, mother of pearl uh, uh, block in lace, uh, typical of Gibson. And you can see it's the body that is well known these days is an SG. SG start, uh, stands for solid guitar. So as you can see, it's got a very beautiful wood grain. <laughs> Quite insane, it's so beautiful, that wood grain underneath. So it's got a thin finish to show you wood grain. As the custom shop uh, guitar, they choose the lightest uh, agony body with the best uh, wood grain that they have. Just uh, stunning indeed. So this is the side vibrola which they had uh, early on in 1961 when the SG in 1961 replaced the Les Paul because Les Paul up to that point uh, they had only sold up around uh, 1,500 to 1,600 Les Pauls from uh, 1952 to 1960 and because Les Pauls were not selling, they stopped. And this was the guitar to replace the Les Paul. That's why it's, you see there it's called a Les Paul. But however, it was named a Les Paul only for 1961, 62, and 63. From 64, it uh, 
went to uh, solid guitar SG because the Les Paul was starting to be more popular and also uh, uh, Les Paul said he didn't want his name on this uh, guitar, he didn't like it or some rumors, rumors are that because he was getting divorced from Mary uh, Ford he didn't want her to have a, a, a to get a royalties from this uh, guitar and therefore it became a solid guitar or SG as we know it nowadays from 1964 otherwise from 1961 to 1963 this was known as a Les Paul because it has replaced the traditional Les Paul so it has replaced the traditional uh, Les Paul so Les Paul was then discontinued in 19 uh, it was uh, 1960 so 1961 this was the new Les Paul which was replacing the traditional Les Paul because it was not selling. However, when Eric Clapton played the Les Paul around 1964-65 or somewhere there, it, uh, people started looking for the Les Paul so it became very popular and therefore <laughs> uh, Gibson started reissuing a, a Les Paul like this one is a R7 or a reissue 1957 gold top uh, reissue because of the popularity once uh, Eric Clapton uh, played it in shows so it's very important uh, to note that so this is a side vibrola which will later on uh, replace because <laughs> uh, it doesn't keep the guitar in tune you just have to uh, just uh, do it quite lightly to keep uh, the uh, the guitar in tune otherwise it goes out of tune quite easily uh, for that reason it uh, was uh, later on uh, replaced with improvements of the design so i've got uh, two uh, tone knobs and uh, two volume knobs which is traditional then traditional three-way switch, toggle switch there, multiply uh, uh, pick guard, quite beautiful, so it matches quite well with the knobs, control knobs there, and the pickup cover there. And the pickup cover in the 1961 uh, Les Paul, these are Alnico 3 uh, pickups, uh, Alnico 3 pickups. Uh, and then we go to the back it's really again quite insane uh, wood crane it's really <laughs> it's really incredible it's so beautiful a uh, uh, wood crane and it's such a beautiful curve this is really magnificent then solid heat from the solid guitar sg solid guitar solid heat for many years 60 years old that's not 2022 was their 60th anniversary of the SG uh, 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 for, for that uh, good and then uh, then you can see it's a uh, uh, set neck and then you can see beautiful mahogany wood grain also on the <laughs> on the neck which is quite incredible uh, really then uh, also your uh, headstock and your headstock as you can see that it's got uh, Cluson tuners uh, uh, deluxe uh, double ringed uh, ones quite uh, beautiful so it's a thin finish again also on the on the neck to show the beautiful wood grey like we'll see in a custom shop uh, uh, guitars from uh, uh, Gibson as you can see the the binding on the fret uh, on the neck it's got this bleeding into the fretboard I thought it was a <laughs> factory fault from um, a Gibson custom shop so somebody told me actually this this is what they it was done intentionally 
to resemble what was uh, seen in those guitars in the 60s. <laughs> so to be a historically correct or vintage uh, uh, original specs to be correct. So you can see the the finish on the on the neck it says bled into the binding on the neck so it was done intentionally it's not a <laughs> poor finish from a Gibson custom shop okay so this as you will have seen I will put a link of my video of the original uh, 1961 uh, Les Paul or an SG as we learned uh, uh, early on uh, that I bought from uh, Marshall uh, uh, from uh, Tom's in Tom Tom's uh, Rivonia in Johannesburg that has so many faults so eventually we sent to uh, Tom's uh, headquarters in Cape Town where they try to correct some of the defects that were there so i'll put a link of the video to see uh, it had uh, major four faults uh, from a custom shop which was totally unacceptable and obviously gibson uh, did really apologize for my poor uh, experience uh, buying a very expensive uh, custom shop uh, uh, guitar and this was the replacement which the 60th anniversary so it's an upgrade from that one it cost uh, uh, much more uh, uh, than the previous model they were compensating me for my experience with the previous uh, 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 1961 uh, Les Paul that I bought so one of the things I really want uh, to have an SG was this one because it's uh, quite uh, so it says here yeah, Les Paul so I'm sure that many people if you are playing in a venue or somewhere will say but uh, that can't be a Les Paul <laughs> so say so, yes it's from Gibson and you can see it's Gibson they say it's Les Paul so somebody may not know the history that uh, Les Paul sales were very poor originally for that reason they uh, discontinued Les Paul in 1960 and uh, in 1961, this was the new Les Paul, so that's why it's called a Les Paul there to replace the old one, which they then uh, dis, uh, discontinued. But like I said earlier on, um, uh, Les Paul himself, is, is, it is said that he didn't want his name to be associated with this guitar. And that's why in 1964, it became SG or a solid uh, guitar. <laughs> So that's very, very important. So we looked at this one. Uh, it is uh, it's well made, it didn't have faults. My Luthier looked at it. So we're quite happy with uh, uh, this uh, guitar from uh, Gibson to replace my old one. So thanks uh, Gibson and Tom's uh, Rivonia and uh, Tom's uh, Cape Town for uh, for helping me to get a proper uh, SG still with the name Les Paul on the uh, headstock truss uh, rod cover to have uh, now I can have something like Angus Young of uh, ACDC <laughs> <laughs> let's see what is in the case Kelly <clears throat> So here yeah, they just explaining the whole history of the SG from Gibson solid heat. So you can see this is the uh, you know with the three pickup so called um, uh, the uh, iconic uh, uh, Les Paul uh, cast, uh, custom or a solid guitar SG custom with those uh, logo in the headstock with the traditional three pickup pickups uh, several uh, guitarists have got a custom shop uh, have got a signature models with these three pickups uh, uh, quite a number of them which are there in the internet so that's the first thing 
then just uh, Gibson uh, social media contacts Facebook Twitter and Instagram uh, from Gibson <laughs> uh, uh, this is just the inspection uh, that it was a model 61 uh, SG and then a serial number there uh, from Gibson uh, S, uh, USA and then yeah just they use vintage uh, strings on the guitar it comes out from the shop uh, gold uh, warranty uh, yes the keys to lock the hard shell case uh, this is just for absorbing moisture transporting as you be aware so this is the <laughs> certificate of authenticity to show this uh, 60 years uh, so 60th anniversary sg in this uh, last poll and again you can see from gibson gibson custom certificate of authenticity 60th anniversary 1961 les paul sg standard <laughs> with the sideways uh, vibe brawler it's great <laughs> yeah and somebody was asking if what uh, the picture because normally when they out of the factory there is a picture that is taken of the guitar uh, but i don't have it maybe uh, they lost it uh, somewhere so, and this just says inspected by uh, number four i don't know it's number four in the custom shop uh, uh, gibson uh. As you can see, uh, Thessaly did in 1961 when they released this uh, Les Paul, replacing the previous Les Paul at that time. They didn't know it was going to be a solid hit, so there was not this. So to be uh, correct, uh, you want to be a vintage, uh, original specs correct or historically correct, so one will remove this and put uh, <laughs> this... Uh, uh, cover here uh, which is more correct this is what was there this only uh, now that uh, the SG has uh, been do, did very well for Gibson and has been uh, produced since 1961 and continues to be a very good seller in a Gibson uh, catalog which is quite important <laughs> <laughs> nice touch Gibson so they always do this even when you unbox the R7 they also the same way you can choose between the two uh, uh, electronics cover right. uh, correct then. so that's the SG so I uh, we tuned it earlier let's see how it sounds like So it resonates incredibly well and you can feel even uh, as the strings uh, vibrate on my, on my body you can feel the vibration going through this uh, thin body <laughs> of this uh, Les Paul or SG as you might call it. So let's see how the vibrola works. As a bro, let's see if he's still in tune. It's too bad, but it seems he's slowly coming out of tune. <laughs> so just uh, one just need to be gentle when you are using the sideways vibrola to keep it in tune, which is uh, quite important. And the next question is that how is it different from the 
the original or the historically known uh, uh, Les Paul, like we have it here. So how are they different? Because this is the original Les Paul, then this uh, SG replaced the Les Paul. So and and this one is a very good uh, comparison because they've got same, the same pickup. This Alnico three, also this R seven has got Alnico three, so it's very good uh, <laughs> comparison. Obviously, the difference is the mahogany body. This is a thin mahogany body. This is a thicker mahogany body with a maple top. Uh, uh, so we can just hear a bit. Also, we turned it earlier on, which is a very important uh, thing to talk about. Uh, so, if we do, So it's uh, resonating quite incredibly well, but the SG just uh, is a bit more louder uh, than the uh, Les Paul. So it's got more projection. And for most guitarists, they will prefer to have the SG or the 1961 Les Paul. They say for a type of rhythm, uh, rhythm playing and so on and so on. It cuts a bit better on the mix than the Les Paul. The Les Paul is very rich with a mid range, but uh, the SG is a bit uh, uh, less focused on the mid range, so it punches a bit uh, better through the mix and the SG. So something. So in the future, in the few months to come, we'll just do a full comparison between uh, this R7, which has got the uh, Alnico 3, and the uh, uh, 1961 Les Paul uh, SG because it's got a very similar uh, uh, pickup system. So one can also compare it to uh, this the Les Paul double cut, which I will also may I put a link. We did a, an unboxing and a review with Brandon from uh, Marshalls in Johannesburg. So it, it has got less sustain, uh, the, the double cut like in SG and this double cut Les Paul. They've got less sustain, but they are a bit more louder, more projection, cutting better through the mix. When as the Les Paul uh, has got uh, much more sustain, which is quite uh, important. I forgot to mention uh, quite earlier on that of the two uh, guitars, so putting separately, I shouldn't make them fall and damage the very expensive stuff. So this has got more projection, but the last pole has got more sustain, uh, more mid-range, this one a bit more focused, so it cuts it better through the mix. So those are some of the differences, but most people may not uh, hear the difference, especially ex except maybe when you have been doing this for a while, then you can pick up the, those differences, which are, might be important for uh, professional musicians, and so on and so on, which is quite uh, important. I'm putting the wrong guitar in the wrong place. So, so the current uh, players who are, who are very known to be playing an SG or solid guitar, the first one is Angus Young of ACDC and he places the the red one like I'm having here and I like uh, some of the riffs and some of the guitar playing. Uh, uh, she Shook Me All Night Long is one of the most favorite uh, songs that people want to play from ACDC. I also like it uh, a lot that song. So I, I can play some chords. I need to have seen uh, videos how to play it. Uh, it's not uh, so difficult in a few 
days I could be able to play it uh, quite uh, well. Maybe not as uh, professional as uh, Angus Young, but uh, quite uh, quite well, uh, quite good as well, uh, which is quite uh, good. And uh, the other one is a blues um, a blues uh, player uh, 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 that is uh, quite uh, well known in the United States uh, that also plays a lot of uh, this has got a signature model as well uh, 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 from a Gibson uh, custom uh, shop uh, uh, which is quite important do you like a uh, uh, solid guitar, SG as it's called, or uh, those who didn't know it was called a Les Paul for, from 1961 to 1963, from 1964 it becomes an SG or solid guitar which is quite important. <laughs> don't forget to like and comment on this video. Also, don't forget, uh, in the next, uh, uh, tomorrow, we'll be announcing the winner of our eighth guitar giveaway, which is a beautiful uh, Fender Redondo acoustic electric uh, guitar with a Fishman pickup. And we'll also be announcing our ninth guitar giveaway. So wait for that video uh, tomorrow. Uh, cheers.